Okay, Libra, so here we are with your 2020 yearly reading, uh, and I'm just glancing across at my uh, time, well, I just realised it's the 21st, the 12th, which is re uh, repetitive numbers that are in reverse, and it's 12 on the clock, so <laughs> got no idea where that comes from. Libra, so we're going to look at your 2020 reading, your January is out at the moment, it will appear in a card towards the end, so what I've done is, I've also broke this down by month, by month, by month, by month. Okay, and we're going to go over every possible message that I can give you to do with love, career, work, possible travel, movement, any dilemmas that might come up with family or friends. And we try to go over and cover all of this. And then what we do is we clarify them with a second layer so I can then take a deeper look if you are going through a dynamic with someone, what that truly means and what might happen. Okay, so we go through the whole lot, Libra. So this is for your 2020. So the first card out for January you got the sign of Aries, so you got the Emperor. So I'm hearing a lot of you have a strategy, strategy, strategi strategizing, or, or compromising, compromising. Some, some, something's going to be compromised. Where, or, uh, well, I'm also hearing something's going to be compromised, like um, really looked into, like um, compromise. Something's going to be compromised. One of your businesses could be compromised. If you own loads of companies or you're looking into that, you could be looking into a strategy to also earn more money or another business. But I think one of them possibly is being compromised, where it's like you have a few different channels or you have a few different um, business ventures and ideas, but one of them is being compromised and analysed by somebody and the other one is probably seems to be more successful during January. But it's a very strong card to come out uh, for your first card. It's a leading card, so some of you could be given a big opportunity by someone that is going to say that they want to work with you. You could well be going to visit this person to say, and this would be the job interview. Some of you are looking to interview people to work for you, or you would be working for someone, but this would be the person that's going to congratulate you to say, well done, okay? So there's some kind of like well-being as well, looking after your health, but also your businesses to make sure that you've got it secure. This would be leading things your own way, okay? But this is a general energy for you at the moment. But you do have Aries. So it's a lot to do with compromisation where if there's a divorce or there's a settlement, there will be an agreement and that would be the court that is going to say, we are the people that are going to make this decision. Okay, And that this person is more than likely going to give you good news because it would be something that you could, if you're looking for um, a job, that they're going to say, this would be you going for a job interview. This would also be people that are coming to you to look for guidance, but also a job opportunity that is really going to come up for you in January, that's going to set the course for the rest of 2020, okay? Um, so the next card out, wow, another Major Meccano, uh, the Magician. So someone's definitely looking into a new venture. They are digging up information. This person is really, really analysing information to do with the court situation and to do with the right, 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 rates and rights of ownership of a house and business more than likely all of the above to say that i now own my company but i have to make sure that everything is on point and precise someone's very precise and on point with what they earn and what they want themselves okay uh hopefully this is coming through as you libra but someone's digging up information on you to make sure that you have everything with you when you go to this job opportunity, they are going to possibly look through your family as well, is what I'm looking for. Family albums, but also family, uh, also receipts that are probably, if you own your company, you might be going through all of your receipts through January, and then uh, February, it comes to the point where you are now going to turn over more of a profit. Okay, but if you're on the re receiving end of something, someone's going to dig up information on you to turn you over. But I don't know. But this is turning over a profit to manifest your physical reality of so above, so below by you owning a company and a business. And you are more than likely turning over a lot more profit now. Okay, some of you are going to be able to afford possibly to be able to take on another person that can help you do your business and you will be able to turn over a profit. I think a lot of you are looking into profit margins, 
margins. I'm also picking up mar Marge, <laughs> Marge, that's from, uh, sorry, that's from um, <laughs> Bart Simpson, right, Marge? <laughs> but I don't know why I'm hearing that. But uh, Dairy or Dairy Lee or Lee or the name Lee, okay, something Lee, Lee, I keep picking up Lee, the name Lee, okay, um, but yeah, thank you. So I think that was, <laughs> I think that was my partner that just told me, yes, it's the name Lee, <laughs> right, right, but uh, anyway, so that's January, February, but we'll have to clarify those, another major arcana, January, February, March, so come March, you will really be studying, really studying, okay? And you will be really, really, really uh, focused on and determined to succeed whatever happens you are going to succeed. I think there's going to be a lot of searching and a lot of research that has to be done. I think that if you are owning a business, you're going to research it. And this is retail. I'm really picking up retail. I'm also picking up ringtail. Sorry, that's the chat response. <laughs> ringtail. And I'm also picking up a... a a mate's name, Ringtail, <laughs> sorry, Ringtail, get up there Ringtail, <laughs> but Ring and Tell, I'm, I'm hearing Penn and Teller, also Penn and Teller, well they were magicians, Penn and Teller was a, ma a magician, you must know who Penn and Teller is, Penn and Teller, it's just like, poof, oh there it is, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh my mama and one of those, <laughs> right, <laughs> sorry, so you had to take the receipt back. So hopefully you might like Lucy Dream Tower music. If you've listened to one of those at the beginning of this intro, the full thing, you'll know that uh, that part was from there. <laughs> but, oh, my mum owned one of those. But owning your own company. I'm also hearing pen and teller, like pen to paper and putting it down on paper, studying, making sure that you've got all your receipts and documents all in a row. I think some of you could be faced uh, by tax uh, this part of the year where you are you might be looking at your own tax and your own figures to make sure, because this could be job seekers allowance for some of you or being uh, given an allowance or you're giving someone an allowance, okay? But there's an allowing energy, um, being allowed to now own your own company to turn over more of a profit. But I think some of that is the tax company that you're going to have to go through uh, and make sure that you've got everything down and that you've got your receipts, you've got your documentation. Some of you, this is travel, where you might have to travel to work and you're making sure that you've got everything as well because I'm picking up, like, don't forget. But I can't get away from this sign of pen and teller. Pen and teller, a magician, <laughs> which is, was a trickster being tricked. I'm picking up a trick. I think that means different in America, right? A trick? I don't, I don't I really don't know, so I can't really comment on that. But um, also, this is an operation. Operatic. Someone's got operatic skills. Someone's like a singer, like for opera, or, or does some kind of operatic... Uh, some of you, this could well be that you're going into the medical field. Because this is a researcher that is studying medicine. Okay, well, I'm going cold. Some of you are studying medicine. Now, it's either a healer, a medicine man, which is a bit like Jim Morrison, <laughs> right? Or a medicine, and you're researching medicines. Now, that's either one because you want to become a doctor or a lawyer or something, or you are physically looking into medicines for your own possible ailment, if there is one, okay? But some of you could be going to a doctor's or a hospital that is going to say that you, you can stay over for something because you, you might need... a uh, to analyze a situation where someone might need to go under again. Okay? But I'm picking up like, if this is to do with a business, it's like, well, one might be going under and the other one might be going over. Meaning like the, the one business is drawing in more revenue and that's going over. And there's one that's going under, you know. And some of you could be from Australia, right? Yeah, well, it is the land down under from Britain, right? But because um, I keep picking up like one's going under and one's going over. One's going over a profit margin and one's going under a profit margin. Some of you are looking into profit margins as a business and an analyst. And it might have to do with um, algorithms and all that kind of stuff, right? So it can also be to do with music um, and also algorithms that you can get through, which is a push too. But you might not know what that is. <laughs> but algorithms of... Um, Algorithms, analyzing situations of, um, what do you call it, uh, information that you do to help people uh, guide them on their journey, but also through algorithms that are going to draw in more revenue as well, okay? So, uh, yeah, because that would be um, putting things out as an algorithm to make sure that it hits the right uh, clientele. 
So some of you, you do have clients and you're looking after them that's taking their emails and that kind of stuff, okay? But that's also like putting it out in the right time and the right place for people to see it, for you to be able to draw in revenue for your business, okay? So a lot of that is to do with algorithms and taking people's... Uh, some of you, this could well be like a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, a sol uh, not a solicitor, but... Um, <laughs> Secretary, a secretary. I'm also hearing a secretary of defense, like secretarial work, media. Someone's in the media or big in the public eye or the media or you want to be. But again, another great card. So you've got the sign of Leo to me, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but to me it's Leo. So the king of wands, which is charity and organizations, okay, and uh, helping people. This is the blind leading the blind in this card, okay? But this person has got perseverance and strength to continue on for people to cheer them on. So this is you guiding people and cheering them on. Some of you, that would be extremely good news for a medical situation that you could do. This is an organization that you might run that's charitable, that you give a lot away of things as well. So that might be prizes and stuff that you're going to give away that's going to draw in more revenue for you as well. Now, um, that's January, February, March, April, May. So May time, there's going to be a lot more passion and a lot more creation to do with your work. There's going to be a lot more passion and creation of a possible marriage um, that the emperor can be uh, wedding vows where you might seek out a... Uh, where you don't go to a church, but you elope somewhere in order to have a witness. There's also a witness that might be witnessing a marriage. Now, some some there is a witness, and it is to do with court. Would be to do with the Aries, uh, em the Emperor of a witness as well. Someone's witnessing uh, this business take off. Okay, uh, but you've got the King of Wands, so we'll see product value of values uh, each card as we go along. So your own card appears up now. January, February, March, April, May, June, okay, so you've got justice, so some of you are seeking justice of ownership and the rights and ownership to a, a business to claim it, to say that you're now owning your own company or business. Now, you either do and you could own another, but this might be something that goes to the claims court, which is the non, uh, uh, what do you call it, a court for non-claims? Bonus, a non-claims bonus, uh, or um, an accident of no claims. Some of you are working the telephone company, and it's for PPI, <laughs> right? So don't ring me. <laughs> but no claims bonus. Some of you are looking into a car or owning for a no claims bonus. But this would be a bonus of someone that is going to say that you owe me. So you might be saying to them, okay, this is how much it is, and you're selling a certain product, and you're trying to be fair for people that might be arguing over that, that could be family that are saying that we've got to agree to disagree. I own it. So, you know, some of you are saying, well, I own this. There's definite company thing, uh, business that's coming up for you to own this. That can also be a car. That can also be a court appearance. There's a lot to do with this emperor and justice, which is you and this emperor. 100% and uh, uh, Virgo energy. Okay. Uh, fire. But... You've now got the Queen of Blades now. So this is someone that's... Dirt, I mean, this could well be you, Libra. Right? That's pointing out mistakes of someone. So let's see who you're pointing a mistake out to. Which ooh, can be also the Ace of Cups. Which can be children. That you, you now are also possibly a mother. That you are saying, listen, okay, if you want to work for me, then you're going to have to do things more efficiently and you're going to have to work for me. Okay? Um, but... This would be your love life that is presently here, but if you're not getting on good terms with someone. But, like I said, this can be a grandparent, a friend, or a person, or a mother as well. That is also interfering, but I don't know. You might be a mother in some, you know. <laughs> but this would be definitely a mother of children, but there is something that someone doesn't want to tell information to. It's like someone constantly wants to know information but someone doesn't want to tell it. And that's for some, that's the children that are not wanting to tell you everything that you're trying to find out. And for some, this would be the younger people that are watching it that are saying, yeah, my mum always tries to find out stuff that I'm trying to not, I'm trying to limit the amount of information that I actually give to a parent in situation. Okay. Um, so then you've got the tower. So this is definitely between you and everybody else that's in it. So, there's a lot of dynamics that is happening around family at the moment for a lot of people. There's um, 
someone that wants things to be fair for them. OK, but someone in your energy might see it as unfair as if to say, stay up my business. Right. So this could be you that's saying, no, no, I want to know what's going to go in my favor before I say or do anything. But there is someone that fears step towing around someone because they feel like they might just flip out and flip a lid. Now, whoever's in their right to do that, I've got no idea. But this is someone that's trying to avoid conflict, but they realize they're drawn into it anyway. So there is a controlling energy here, Libra, I've got to say, okay? But whatever that dynamic is for you guys, I really don't know. But there's definitely a dilemma around court situations that are kind of coming up for some. If it's not, it's someone that's really trying to find out the information from a parent in situation where someone does not want to reveal all the information because they know the moment they do, someone can start to use that against them and they don't like it. OK, so it causes avoidance and separation of a, a skill and a tactic that some are probably watching to say that they have this way of trying to always interfere into my relationship and that I don't like that you interfere into my relationship and that when I tell you certain things, it feels like the other person feels like you're against them. OK, so there's a controlling energy that definitely seems to be coming through. OK. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So by September, which would be the children's holiday, okay, which would be summer holidays, right? They go back to school in September. So there's a lot of uh, possible where it can be if you're a mother that you've got loads of time to study and go over your business because your children are at school. Uh, but then there's a, a an a energy here where you might get into disagreement with that because it's stopping you to be able to focus on this here, okay? But this can well be a court appearance that's appearing for a lot of you guys. Uh, and that's to do with your family, the tower. So you've got the sign of cancer now. So really wanting to go and travel and really wanting to get out of this dilemma that seems to be going around Something seems to be going around like a circle that just seems to keep happening and happening and happening and happening. And it is to do with someone's health as well. OK, where some people are just not on the same wavelength to do with their children and the parenting thing. It just seems to be like a dilemma where you're butting heads with parents and children. OK, now, if this is a relationship, then it's going... I think that there's a relationship here for a lot of you, but I think that what it is, is that these are parents that are standing in the way of that. And that you might all have to live together, but it well, this person's trying to have their say, and someone's trying to say, I'm trying to keep you out of my way, okay? So whoever that is, I don't know. Um, so November... Now we go to the Ten of Blades. You see, the Ten of Blades, this is someone that's feared to be stabbed in the back by someone and that it's over, okay? But there's a lot to do with, like, travelling and uh, car expenses and who's going to have the car and who's not going to have the car or can I, avoid, can I afford to have a car? There's someone here that does think very negatively, Libra, you know, in your energy, because it feels like someone's worrying a lot about money and they're worrying a lot about something. And there's someone here that tries to avoid that worry because they try to manifest reality of so above, so below. But when you can connect to an energy that worries a lot, then when someone worries a lot, there's someone here that says, stop worrying, stop panicking. You're going to stop my process of thinking positively. You know, there's a positive, negative, positive, negative. There's also an element of positive and then it's negative and then it's positive and it's negative and it's confusing somebody, you know. They're getting very confused and fused and then they get triggered and there's a triggered response. It triggers someone off to say, stop, just stop, just stop, <laughs> you know, stop interfering and it's causing a big dilemma because someone wants to know where you're probably going or what you're doing, what time will you be home? And then these, this person here and here is what I'm picking up is frantic to find out information about 
their home and about oh am I going to lose my home and am I going to lose it it just feels like it's all going through someone's head you know head so because it's going through someone's head it's connecting with someone else's head and what you're doing is butting heads so there's a difference of opinion of compatibility with one of a control or two because this, this is all information here it's all about information and someone's gathering it that much that they're worrying about the amount of information that they've got that they probably don't have. Sorry, it's, <laughs> sorry, Libra, but it's confusing me as being a medium, you know. So you've got then the Six of Cups. So the family, the soulmate situation, the reflection of memories, okay. There's a lot of family that are all involved in this, and there's a lot of information that is trying to be found out by a soulmate also, but I pick up a lot of this to do through your year is family of this cycle that's repetitively played out and it's gone around and around and over and over and over and over again. And it seems like someone fears to communicate with someone because they know that the moment, but this is definitely a mother child situation that's going on at home. Okay. For you guys. And it feels like I, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. And this person is like, just stop, stay out of my business. <laughs> so I'm feeling that aggression, you know, stay out of my business, stay out of my information. Stop keep trying to win me over by trying to get into my information for me to tell you the information, but then we just flip out and butt heads with one another, you know. And that's definitely the quarter, January, February, March, April, May, June, you know, June, July, August, September. That's around that uh, holiday period as well for a lot of you. Okay. But it's a lot to do with expenses of traveling and stuff. But we'll see. But the star signs you've got is Aries, anybody. Uh, Virgo, Leo for me. But Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you've got Leo there. So yourselves, uh, prob probably yourselves again. Anybody, uh, Cancer. Um, so, what's the Emperor for? The Emperor. Tell me more about the Emperor. Why is this Emperor here? This might be an ex partner that you're trying to keep out of your life. If you have children with an ex, it seems like you have to go through that because you have children with them. And because there's a disagreement over well, when you're going to have the kids and when are you not going to have the kids because I need to focus and I've got to go to work and school. Okay. And because I have to do that, when are you going to have the children? And it seems like you go through this pattern of behavior with them because there's family, which is possibly that you have children with an ex partner. Okay. What's the emperor for? Emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. So, oh, sorry, if I didn't say, we will go into a um, an advert right now, and then we'll go on with clarifying them. So it's probably appeared, or it will now. Okay, guys. So the emperor, the emperor. So you got Virgo, and you're all fighting. Someone's definitely fighting with an emperor, Aries, Virgo energy over children and family and that's a dynamic you know to do with the same layer that we went over for a start but there can be a lot of um depression maybe around someone that they're witnessing a family dynamic that seems to go on with you and possibly their family as well and it's very difficult because there's time that's needed between work and family and it's just it's it's Someone's definitely witnessing a lot to do with your family and their family, having a lot of family arguments and a lot of business arguments and a lot of money arguments and a lot of the rights to things. Um, there is people that are staying, you know, stop keep arguing. I don't want to argue with you. I have to avoid you. I don't want to argue, so I'm trying to avoid. I'm also trying to go to work also, but still in my head that we've possibly had an argument when I'm having to go to work and now I'm at work trying to run my business, but I feel down and low about it. But there is someone that's playing mind games, I would say, you know, people say mind games, but if that's family, you're in a situation with family and 
people do go through narciss go through narcissism and control with family. Trust me, they do. You know, I butt heads with my family all of the time. We just don't get on. You know, um, because we're just not compatible. Because it's controlling the amount of information. I think my mum has Libra, <laughs> yeah, a moon sign. Um, I don't know, but um, for me, that's very difficult. For me, you know, very very difficult. Um, but because I'm hearing the same kind of like reading. Um, but a lot of family arguments. What's the magician for? Magician. Magician. So the magician, you got Leo, okay, Leo, it is to do with family and it's to do with this cycle that seems to be repetitive, pl repetitively playing out. I think during the month of January, there seems to be a lot of the same to do with like owning your own business but haven't also go through like conflict with someone um still within the family um that's still a tactic of like work that's distracting someone uh the magician is really leo energy and it's a lot of courage and strength to be able to still deal with the family situation but some of you this is a, a, a move that where you're physically moving from this dilemma here you know and that Come February, you've either moved into it <laughs> or you've moved out of it, you know. But this is definitely traveling and saying, I've got to get out of this situation and I've got to move into this new uh, arena, <laughs> right? Into this new arena, into this new life. I've got to start a new life and I've got to move on and I've got to physically move across the channel. <laughs> I'm hearing the channel tunnel. For some of you, I'm hearing uh, London, okay? But, um, I've got to physically move, you know, because it's having strength to be able to do that. But that would also be selling stuff, but trying to find a, a, a brighter day. So the Hermit, again, you've got Libra energy and Aquarius energy. So, I mean, this is like staying quiet here. It's like, is winding someone up the fact that family members or someone's not talking to someone and because they're not talking it's winding someone up because they're constantly wanting to know information now if you know that that controls your uh state of being able to concentrate through the hermit and the magician that when you're trying to concentrate someone is trying to get into your life by distracting you because so what you're doing is trying to avoid them and not talk and not give them that amount of information because you possibly know that they use it against you or someone uses it against you but you've got Pis Pisces Libra Virgo okay and Aquarius energy so I mean that's still I mean how, how on earth can the star mean wish fulfillment I mean it is you're psychically connected someone is a medium and they are connected and they're very sensitive and what they can do is hear a lot of stuff and they do things esoterically. Uh, but you get your wish. Whatever that is by remaining silent, if you are, then you get your wish. So be careful what you wish for because you will get it. Okay? So whatever you're wishing for through that high priestess, which is Aquarius, you will get Aquarius. Okay? You will get an Aquarius. Or you <laughs> or someone is being silent about an Aquarian. Hermit, High Priestess, the Star. January, February, March. Hmm. Could be a possible Piscean because their birthday is in February, March. Okay, and that would also be uh, a Vedic. It would be a um, Aquarian. They might have that in their chart as well somewhere. But that could be a family situation that's going on. But it could be your wish fulfillment. So, well, there you go. So, the Two of Cups. So, everything comes good. I think a lot of it is just family dilemmas that seem to be going on. That people are just trying to avoid people by not giving them the certain amounts of information for it. But your love life could well be in good, like, standing. And this is just a family situation that you're watching it for. Um, but the Ace of Blades is going to be the truth that the soulmate, you've got soulmate situation, Two of Cups. So you're mirroring a lot to do with you and your family and dynamic that is just a lesson of mirroring certain cycles in life. 
So, tell me more about this two of cups. So you've got two and two. So in April, you get a soulmate. Oh, eight, nine, ten. So you got two to the eight, which is walking off from a soulmate. <laughs> But a soulmate can be anybody, you see. But that still makes 10. I am confused. Sorry, I just get very confused. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Why is this Eight of Cups? Because it's headed towards Leo. Eight is Leo. King of Wands to me is Leo. You've got Leo. Uh, where did you have Leo? There, right? Leo. So manifesting a Leo for sure. So you're probably going towards your two of cups, which is the Leo. So let's see what this king of wands is for. King of wands. King of wands is again the ace of swords. A two, again, oh, why do these twos keep showing up? It keeps happening with two and two and two. It's like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This person's like got dreams that they want to travel and they want to move. This is possible movement and travel through the Ace of Swords. January, February, March, April, May. So come May, you've got your Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. Okay, and they're coming back with a... An apology of something that's going to make you think about what? What is this make them think about this two of wands? What's going to be thought about through this two of wands? What is going to be thought about through this two of wands? Because that would be like physical traveling, like going away. Two of wands, money. There you go. There's your counterpart. The king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. For some of you. Okay? If it isn't, this has been able to travel for a business to actually earn more money. So some of you, there might be a bit of conflict that you might have to, like, move. Five and two is seven. To put up... To be able to physically have distance between someone, it's probably drawing a wedge because you are apart. Through the world card... And the health of the relationship that suffers through the world card because there is distance. Or it's just generally work. Okay, but it is all to do with money through the king of pentacles and the king of wands. Two kings. Uh, so what's this justice for? Uh, to be able to earn more money. What's this justice for? Justice. Justice. Oh, all the, the very confusing cards are coming out. Even I'm getting very frustrated. Don't know yet. Have you arrived yet? Don't know yet. Three and two, five, which is there. So it's a repetitive thought and cycle that is keeping someone waiting. And they're waiting on something. And they're waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting for something to happen. Which could well be you, Libra. So I don't know what you're waiting for. What are you waiting for? Sagittarius. For your wish fulfillment. But. It seems like you're waiting on news from a Sagittarius or water sign. That's your nine of cups. But your ten is there. Mm. Someone's getting into a lot of confusion on waiting on things to happen. But it feels like someone's just stubborn and stuck and just waiting for things to happen as well. Where it's draining someone's energy. This can be a draining energy of feelings and emotions. And this can be fire. So it's draining someone's passion and fire because they're just stuck in a situation that they don't really want to be in. But they're trying to figure out how to get out of it. So let's find out what this Queen of Blades is. This could be well be a mother. I mean, you could be a mother... Uh, and they could be possibly trying to maintain someone's weight as, and stuff as well. What's the Queen of Blades for? 
Sorry, I just get very confused when I do Libra readings. I can't seem to like focus and like um, like I normally can on readings where it's just straightforward. I'm just picking up on like a lot of confusion through this. I don't know what like a feeling. You know, you can never express a feeling when you're reading cards, but this reading just feels very like uh, controlled for some reason. And it's blocking my vision. What's the Queen of Blades for? Queen of Blades. Queen of Blades. So I'm only going to take these two because they're the first two that turned over. Continuing to work. And there's your Ten of Cups. You've got the Ten of Cups there. Okay. Waiting to receive it again. And there it is. So a lot of this stuff, like I said, this dilemma that might go on is all to do with the behaviour of families that are all involved, okay? And you might have to work for a family business or you work really hard as a mother and you're the mother and you work really hard to bring in all the money and esoterically and everything as well and you bring in all the money for your Ten of Cups, which is your family, okay? For your family, to maintain it, to make sure that it's fine, but you're also on the back end still waiting for things to change in a family dilemma that seems to still continue. Because the Ten of Cups is still a cycle of family. Piscean as well. Uh, what's the Ace of Cups? But you've got nine and one here, which is ten as well, which is your cycle of family. What's the Ace of Cups for? Ace of Cups. So that's a pregnancy as well. That's information that kids might be traveling away and moving, or you might be, or you'll get a uh, get an offer, an opportunity for a discussion with someone, or physical be able to move there's another opportunity so it's all coming good january february march april may june july august so come august you're going to have more opportunities at work and you're going to have more money offered to you you possibly have a job that you could well receive to go for to travel to go towards that as well that will bring in more revenue for you through the eight you know it's kind of like an eight and one which is nine which is to be able to work for oneself more efficiently Okay, but whoever this person is also is going to be back into your life. Um, or the children could well be moving out or in through this Ace of Pentacles. What's this tower for? The tower. The tower. So the tower, oh, the tower is the Five of Cups and the Three of Cups. Eight. Eight of Cups, which is there, which is a two of cups is why someone's walking someone's got two soulmates, and this is why it's confusing me. Someone's got options. You know, someone's got two soulmates. Two soulmates is really what I'm picking up. That there's one soulmate that wants to know things, and you might decide to walk off, or they might decide to walk off. And because that happens you walk towards your other partner, which is the Ten of Cups, there, and there it is. But then someone gets left out and hurt here. So it's either a family that gets left out or, or a love partner that gets left out. But someone gets left out because someone walks off towards one and then walks off back to another. There's someone that's really confusing this energy, going between different soulmates. Sorry, that's what's really... Like confusing my uh, reading for you guys as general because it's a general reading, and it sometimes can be very easy to pick up the energy for me, but then sometimes it can be very confusing, and it is because I'm feeling that there's two lots of soulmates here. What's the chariot for? The chariot. So. Oh, the Chariot, or oh, Capricorn, Cancer, Capricorn, again, the Queen of Wands, comes back again. 
that's a, a big family tie of uh, toxicity that can be on. That's a tie, a karmic tie here, and this is family karmic tie. It's a big, 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 big family karmic tie. That's the only way I can really put it here. This is someone that wants to know that's obsessed. It's someone that's obsessed with... Um, I mean, it can be phallic stuff as well. This can be like one night stands and stuff. I mean, it might be you that are wanting to go on that and you might want that. Some of you are really trying to avoid and get out of that and to cut it out of your life, but it's it's there. It's also like a big family uh, tie because this, as like I said, is someone that's constantly wanting to just take something or give something. It's either I'm giving too much or I'm getting too much. But whatever it is, is someone's getting a lot of it. <laughs> someone's getting a lot of it, like sex as well. Like a lot of passion and a lot of that. So that might be what you're wanting, you know? That might not be a karmic tie for you. That might be what you want. But whatever it is, as I'm saying, be careful what you wish for, because what you're wishing for is you're getting. So, you know, people will have a lot of karma to undo. There's five and five and three here. Someone's definitely between this. Sorry, Libra. <laughs> it's confusing my energy. Only got six of cups here as well. You see, someone's definitely got two or three soulmates and family. Ten of blades. Ten of blades. Ten of blades is judgment. Again, it's either over. There's two lots of three endings. You see, that's a ten and that's twenty. There is possibly three soulmates here. Three. But someone's going to be, or someone will be left out. What's this judgment for? Judgment. But they want reconciliation. Again, someone wants another go. Uh, air sign. Well, this, I mean, this is coming across as controlling. You've got the king and the queen here of swords. That's family that are all involved. These are, this is friends, family, everybody is all involved in this this is a court appearance as well but all families are all involved all friends they're all involved too people are talking to their friends about things and it's spreading rumors and it's also spreading karma you know it's someone's implanting stuff into someone's head as well and it's a cycle of family that's also going on someone can get someone could very very much get cut out of this situation What's this Six of Cups? I've got to be honest, Libra. Someone's definitely going to be cut out. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there's one soulmate or family member here that's got everything. Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Take your pick. But again the magician ten of cup ten of coins and a parent or you or someone but this six of cups this person here they've got it all this family member or this ten of uh soulmate one of them has a lot of money and they can manifest whatever they want this person here is very optimistic about their future and they're very focused on their money and they're very focused on their career here and they're manifesting it you're going to receive a reward of money very much so and come into it some of you this could well be a court appearance that comes up here and you go to court against this person to take them to court for it to finalize and finally be done and over or a business to be done and over and you're going through the business transaction of trying to get one out of the way, but the person that you had it with out of the way, and you go through this whole thing here, and also soulmate that you go through, of this is just a, a, a whole way of mirrors that our people are going to learn some serious lessons through this year, Libra. Okay, but it all seems to either one go to court, but whatever happens, it all becomes good with the family. And the, the soulmate here, <laughs> right at the end of the year. So it looks like you've got a very big year ahead of you. There's a lot of frustration of people not talking and being on talking terms. 
but there are also some people that are on good talking terms too. It probably isn't so much of a big dilemma, but someone's definitely got two or three soulmates for sure, okay? Or a family member feels completely left out because someone doesn't want to tell them information and they start feeling down and then they start feeling happy. This person is overindulging in information of interfering into someone's relationship. And because they're interfering into someone's relationship, someone gets very wound up, flips out and says, keep out of it. You know, and it makes someone feel low and then they come back to feed off more energy here when you're feeling happy and joy. OK, so it's happy, joy, sad, happy, joy, sad. It's it's a very mixed emotional person that can also be in this energy. And I don't know who that is, Libra, so I'm sorry, but it all seems to come good at the end of the year. So mixed emotions about this reading libra okay if you want a personal one you can reach out and i can focus on my energy for you skype calls are much 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 better because i'm a healer and it does heal subconscious memories and triggers and it gets you to help to step into your dream to focus energy on one direction okay but we go over a lot of things there's a video that you can also watch uh or a tarot reading or anything like that you can reach out below uh hopefully you like lucid dream tarot music you can i'm going to do loads of different segments over there that will be esoteric and tarot card related teaching segments but mainly music i've got a load of equipment that's going to turn up very soon and i'm going to start using some more so that's one of my focuses as well okay but uh hopefully you join that and you can find them in the cards that start to appear or in the bio box below okay all right guys thanks libra and i hope you have a great new year all right guys thank you